got some important 3D printing stuff to tell you about. You need to hear this. Don't go away. Hey everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to be talking about 3D printing and the Monoprice Select Mini Pro. All right, now um, I'll tell you what's going on here in a second. I need to talk about uh, a couple of my earlier videos first because this is really, really important. Uh, I had two videos that I put out. Uh, that were addressing you're doing it wrong. And basically it was talking about how your uh, distance between your nozzle and your print bed were not set right. And, and that still absolutely is the truth of why you might be having some problems uh, printing, getting things to stick and whatnot. So I put out the first video with a suggestion. It worked for me and it worked for a lot of other guys where I was using the offset settings and a piece of paper to try to uh, get that in a reasonable distance and then get it to print and fine tune it from there. And like I said, it did work for me and it worked for a couple other people, but I started to hear some guys saying, hey, I, I can't feel any tension on the paper. So I started to look at it and I decided that maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. So I put out a, a second video. Um, it was updated on You're Doing It Wrong. And basically uh, I, I was leaning more towards um, running test prints. A test print, an adjustment, a test print, an adjustment. And uh, so that's what was going on. Now you'll notice if you look at my channel, both of those videos have, have been removed. I took them down because I got uh, some feedback from a friend, who, uh, a viewer, Rob Laycock, who said that uh, following my first video, he tried to do that. He couldn't feel any tension and he kept adjusting the offset. And I guess at some point the nozzle hit the print bed and it popped a couple screws loose and... So it, it was a pretty big failure for Rob. And uh, Rob, I absolutely apologize. Um, I know I said that I'm new to 3D printing and we're learning from my, my victories and my failures. I just really feel bad that your failure wasn't my failure. Um, you know, if there's anything I can do to, to, to help you out with that, let me know. I, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, having heard that, I decided to film this, take those videos down, and I'm going to put up a new video on how to address that problem here in a few days. Okay, I just got to get it uh, shot and stuff like that. And it's actually going to be employing uh, Rob's suggestion, which is this. I'm going to just sum it up and then I'll put up the, the video later. His suggestion is to make a simple model, maybe a cube and put a giant skirt around it. Big, big skirt all the way around it, okay? As many paths around as you can, put a big, 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 big skirt down. Start the print and start bringing in your offset while it's printing the skirt until you start to get the results that you should be getting, which is uh, a very thin layer of filament that sticks like the dickens to your bed. Once you get that adjustment, leave it because that's where you're going to be. That's going to be your offset, barring you making any changes. Now, I am going to do a video on this. Uh, and again, it's all Rob Laycock's uh, idea on how to do it. But I'm going to bring a video out here in a couple days showing that. And again, Rob, I am so sorry if... Anything I did uh, steered you wrong and caused you a, 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 the, that problem. Um, but the bottom line is, it's still that your nozzle and print bed are too far apart. That's your major problem. Okay? So, those videos are gone. A new videos, videos coming out. And for the time being, this is the suggestion to, uh, to dial that in. Uh, why is it going to take a couple days to get the video? Because right here. This is the next thing. This is my new 
Mono Price Select Mini Pro. In my one month review, I talk about how I hadn't had any problems and hadn't had any experience with Mono Price's customer service. Well, I did have a problem, okay? So, let me tell you about that. Basically, I think it was a thermistor problem. My, uh, my nozzle temperature went insane, okay? It was all over Hell's Half Acre. It was just everywhere. And because of that, the nozzle wasn't heating properly, and uh, so it stopped extruding, prints were failing. So I reached out to Monoprice. They said, send it back, here's an RMA and a shipping label. Send it back, we'll send you a new one. And that's what I have here, I've got my new printer. Okay, anyhow, so I've got my new Monoprice Select Mini Pro here, and I'm gonna get it unboxed, and I'm gonna get it set up, and then I'm going to video uh, Rob's suggestion on how to uh, set your offset and, and fix that problem because that is going to be the easiest and safest way to adjust your offset without possibly damaging your printer. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the bell to be notified anytime I release a new video. Ask any questions and make any comments that you want, just like Rob did. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions, wishing you the most fabulous, amazing, wonderful day ever in your life. Until next time, be good.